Hisense's new 2024 100 L5 H4K laser TV is now available in South Africa and it comes with some impressive tech. This 4K ultra short throw laser projector is capable of displaying a 3840x2160 image with pixel shifting at the max lumen of 2700. The Hisense 100 L5 H makes use of the brand's X-Fusion Blue Laser Tech which provides crisp and vibrant imagery across a 100 inch display. Speaking of the display, this projector relies on a Hisense anti-light reflection panel which is included with the unit. This time around I got to assemble it myself and it was quite an experience. The 100 inch ALR screen comes in a rectangle box believe it or not and revolves around assembling the outer structure for the display. This is done by assembling the outer frame with the metal beams and screwing them together with inner connectors. Once done, you roll the screen over the panel, slide in the carbon fiber support beams, put those beams into a metal frame, put those beams into more metal frames and slide that into the metal frame. There's a lot of metal frames here. The rest is all about patience as I had to carefully put screws into the main frame and tighten them. This essentially pulled the screen towards the edges and secured it. I already had the brackets installed on my wall from my previous Hisense PL1 laser TV review. You can check that review in the description down below. So I just attached the panel to that installation. It's safe from drilling holes into the wall yet again. The Hisense 100 L5H unit itself has a refreshing new design. The model boasts a clean light grey colour and it has gotten rid of the rounded edges for a sharper rectangular design. However, the unit is definitely a Hisense laser TV. You can see it from a mile away and the brand has done a great job creating its own unique ecosystem of laser TV products. On the front of the unit, there's a fabric layer that houses the 40 watt Dolby Atmos speaker system. There's also a hidden little white LED light that indicates when the power is off and on. And there's also a Hisense logo in a brushed steel styling. The top of the unit is your typical laser TV box. In the center, you'll find the laser lens, which is a little cutout. This is where all the magic happens. There's also a set of eye protection sensors to detect when someone is nearby. The unit will automatically shut off the laser lens in that case to avoid eye damage. On the right hand side there's a new power button which also turns on and off the unit without a remote. But you can also navigate some of the settings and toggle the input with the button too. This helps if you don't have the remote nearby. Then we have the back ports. The Hisense 100 L5H includes a number of ports including a digital audio port, Ethernet, two USB-A Type-A ports, a headphone jack, two antenna ports and three HDMI ports. These HDMI ports are rated at 4K 60Hz with the second port used for eARC. Of course there's also a large kettle plug port at the back too. The Hisense 100 L5H looks quite nice. The unit is slightly larger than the previous models I reviewed but the sharper edges and the lighter shade of colour give it a modern and sophisticated look. In our region, the unit uses the Vida operating system, which is something we have come to expect from the brand. This means setting up the unit is fairly simple. Well, actually the setup, not the placement of the installation part. That requires some patience. I had to move the unit around the TV stand to get the perfect positioning. It relies on aligning the display with the TV and rotating it slightly to get the perfect image. I could also unscrew and tighten the unit's feet, which elevated the angle slightly to help with the alignment too. Once aligned, I could run an auto setup for the unit by taking a photo of the screen and uploading it to the network. However, in the past, this setup seldom worked, so instead I took the manual method instead. It is a lot more exciting anyway. This meant navigating a grid screen where I could select a node and drag it around the edge of the display to move the laser's picture. The grid helps a lot, it gave me more control over the image. The lines also helped me gauge whether the screen was straight and the node helped me fine tune the picture off the edges of the display. Once done, the system looks and feels like any other Hisense Vida experience. You can sign into your account or skip everything and jump right into the apps. While I do enjoy the Vida experience, I have encountered issues in the past where apps simply don't work. I have a new Hisense TV where the DSTV app needs to be updated and there's no update available, so I can't use the app at all. Yes, the system is fast and streamlined and getting around is much easier, but the lack of app update support can hinder the experience. But if you're looking for apps, the platform does have them all. Netflix, Disney+, Showmax, etc. It is a fully-fledged entertainment platform. 
When it comes to the general viewing experience on the Hisense 100 L5H, this laser TV definitely packs a punch. These units rely on lenses that are color accurate and bright to deliver the best possible picture quality and for the most part, the unit excels in both. Of course, some image calibration is needed when you first set up the unit. I found myself using HDR Day for most content with the color tone set to 1. This brought the color temperature closer to more realistic shades, which provides a more realistic image. I also disabled all the motion settings and noise reduction toggles. Hisense does offer quite a lot of depth here to tweak the unit to your ideal setup. This also all depends on the brightness of your room you're in too. Calibration settings will always depend on your current setup. But that being said, the brightness on this unit is quite good. The 2700 lumens go a long way to display a bright and vivid image in most scenarios. This laser TV will also generally be much brighter than your typical projector, and it has been made to be viewed in not only dark areas, but light rooms too. The ALR screen also helps eliminate any sort of back-facing glow caused by windows and other bright objects in the room. You can see in this clip the two comparisons. The one clip the room is much darker and in the other clip the room is much lighter. There's also back facing windows on the display and you can clearly still see the image on the TV. I was surprised to see just how great the unit handled its black levels. Bright objects were very bright and dark areas were impressively dark. This was even better during HDR and Dolby Vision content. Not only did the color range deliver vibrant images, but the specular content glowed on the display too. It is rather impressive for a laser TV. The unit showed its best performance during HDR content. Out of the box, the Hisense 100 L5H is a little oversaturated, which may come across as unnatural. I altered this down by tweaking the color, but most users may prefer these vibrant images. General TV watching was also good. I even noticed how well the unit upscaled 720p and 1080p content to 4K. Of course, there's still a lack in sharpness, but it's good to know for those who are still using limited and dated Disney Plus, DSTV and Showmax apps that are still stuck in the early 2000s with HD content. Gaming was also just as good. While there's no 4K 120Hz support, which is likely a given now on these units, the same excellent image quality stemmed into games too. Everything I played looked great running at 4K. I measured 35 milliseconds of input lag, which is also quite decent. Keep in mind that this was with the built-in gaming mode enabled. Across the board, I was very happy with the image quality on the unit. Viewing angles were also fairly decent. You'll lose image quality and especially brightness when you move past the 45 degree angle, but the larger 100 inch screen means this angle is harder to reach. The speakers on this unit are also okay. At 40 watts, they can only produce so much sound. They don't have much bass, but they are loud and clear. They also have Dolby Atmos, but there's no real surround sound simulation at all, given that these speakers only face one direction. Those of you who are wondering, the Hisense 100 L5H reached the peak energy use of 330 watts during my tests. This is on HDR day and the laser luminance on 10, which is the max. You can drop the laser luminance down to zero to save 100 watts, taking power use to around 230 watts. It is the only energy saving feature available on this unit. And even with that, the device still uses quite a lot of power when on the lowest brightness. Overall, the Hisense 100 L5H is yet another impressive laser TV from the brand. It does exactly what you would expect from it, and the bright lens means you can get away with this in different setups. It doesn't beat the TV's performance, but it does beat the TV's size. Unless you're willing to spend money on a 100-inch TV, you'll find it difficult to replicate this experience for the same price. So those are my thoughts on the Hisense 100 L5H. Are you picking up this unit? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thanks for stopping by and please do consider liking and subscribing for more future Hisense content like this. Also visit glitch.online for more gaming tech news and reviews. Until next time, farewell.